Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, dear friends, uh, today the um, the topic is on. As I said just now, um, some of us uh, joined a bit late. Uh, not late, actually. You are on time. But we are going to deal with um, you know analytical kinds of writing. So last time we saw uh, basics of writing, that is uh, general writing skills. So we dealt with basics of writing, writing effectively, writing for print media. We quickly went through all that. Now from next time onwards, after I finish, uh, after this week, so maybe probably till about next Friday, I'll be a little busy. After that, I'll start sending you, you know, revision recordings of whatever we have taken so far. So that it'll, it'll be easier for you do, during your exams. You can just play the audio and get uh, uh, get to know what is being said. For example, I'll send you one uh, audio on basics of writing, one on writing effectively, one on writing for print media, one on translation. That translation bit we have to take. So I'll need a small separate half an hour for that uh, because we missed our first class. So that particular part remains. Now we're going to go to analytical writing. Here also you have four uh, units. I know that last time I was a bit fast because of which some people got back to me later and said that I'm a bit fast. You need to uh, forgive me for that. As I told you, I'll be sending you um, audio, uh, uh, small audio tapes of uh, audio bytes of uh, all these uh, units that we took so that in that you can, you know, leisurely listen to it. But right now, just for the sake of giving you an overview, I need to go fast. So we are going to take up first, as, as I said, four units, feature writing, opinion writing, editorial writing, and writing for magazine. Now, this is purely from the angle of uh, journalism or, you know, print media. Nowadays, it's not even print media because feature writing, opinion writing, editorial writing, uh, all these are part of the digital media aspect also. And writing for magazine, which is long form writing, is also heavily practiced in digital media because uh, as a as a person who works in uh, the newspaper, I know that the newspaper has limits. Like, for example, it the ad space is very limited. So what happens is uh, you will only take so much of uh, matter and the rest you say run it on digital media, which means there's a lot of scope for long form writing on digital media. Uh, you can uh, actually, um, you know, write uh, as much as you want and uh, if uh, the if it is an interesting read, then I'm sure people will, uh, uh, you know, take their time to scroll through and read. Uh, if it is not interesting, then even otherwise, I don't think even print media, you'll get any readers. But if it's an interesting read, even on digital media, people will read and then people will read at length. So digital media is heavily into long form writing right now. So first we are going to take up feature writing. Feature writing is a one a major part of long form writing. Uh, do you all have an idea of what long form writing is? Anyone? Anyone can tell me who, what long form writing is? I just want to know how much you know about these terminologies because uh, otherwise I'll have to spend some time explaining the terminologies. Just want to know if you're aware of the terminologies, long form, short form writing, news writing, feature. Uh, are you aware of the terminologies? Dear friends, are you aware of what the terminologies are? Could you please respond? Because I'm waiting for a response. I say, yes, hello. Do you know? Do you know what long form writing is? Okay. Yes, we do. Yeah, long form writing is basically. Um, where you go into, you know, you experiment with writing. Say, otherwise you have to strictly go on, like last time we discussed five W's and one H for news writing. You have to resort to five W's and one H when it comes to news writing or, uh, you know, hard news reporting. But when it comes to soft features, feature writing, news feature writing, you can experiment with your writing. You can have a delayed lead. You can have the five W's and one H, in a, you know, maybe you can put in um, the most important of the five W's and 
one edge in your intro and then slowly describe or you can build up create suspense it's more creative you can actually experiment with your writing without losing the idea of journalism the idea of journalism is to convey what is news you still convey news but in a more dramatic more a delayed more creative manner that is long form writing so long form writing uh, as i told you there are um uh, different kinds of long form writing uh, one of which is the feature writing everything is feature basically but news features you have news features you have soft features you have crime features you know depending on the beats that you are assigned you have features so generally what are features the important ingre- ingredients of feature articles are they have immaculate language that you have to be good in language that is as i told you long form writing is more creative you have to build up the suspense you have to create the drama you have to create the scene before the reader the reader should feel that he or she if you are describing a mountain the reader or if you are describing uh, himalayas you have to feel the reader has to feel the the chill in the word you have to be there literally you have to transport the reader with your words so um, immaculate writing you have to be flawless racy grammatically infallible your grammar should be good simple language uh, but the, yet the language should be simple all this technique of language should be there that is it has to be flawless without any mistakes the spelling everything should be proper grammatically it should be right the basics of writing plus it has to be simple because frankly to write simple is the most difficult thing if you write simple more and more people will be attracted why do you there's a writer called rk narayan in, in in india everybody reads his books like swami and friends malgudi days i don't know if you've heard of these books everyone reads those books because they're simple to even even a child will understand so simple language but simple language in a beautiful presentation touch it 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 should touch your soul that kind of writing is immaculate language you have to use difficult words rarely avoid jargons uh, avoid avoid in intricate convoluted ideas or even if you are writing convoluted ideas you have to write it in a simple manner uh, resist verbosity all these things heavily loaded sentences be simple and sweet like normal human beings as it the best method i can personally tell you is write like you would narrate the incident to a friend like isaac is my friend he is coming and sitting near me and i'm telling him just a moment hello hello yes hello all here yeah. listen i just don't know what is the matter please give me two minutes this uh, login has i mean my the recording uh, laptop uh, scott kongdov just give me two minutes
really All right, no uh, problem. Is she, is she an... I think it was getting recorded, but suddenly... Um, I had gone out of uh, uh, link, right? Totally. Did you hear me during... I mean, I was trying to talk. Did you hear me? No, please, we're not hearing you. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Something is wrong. Just a moment. Huh? But here yeah, you are loud and clear. Yeah, you are yeah, I'm really boring. sorry because, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's it's slightly clouded out here and it's raining very heavily towards the evening time. It's It's really difficult here right now. Just a moment. Two minutes. Yeah, so let me continue. Meanwhile, uh, we lost the track, but still I'll um, quickly recap it for you. So we were trying to talk about how, um, um, as I said, feature writing is all about, you know, you creating um, a, a world of its own. Like, for example, you are uh, creating a scenario. It's like watching a movie. You create a movie with your words. That is what basically, um, uh, what do you say, creative writing is all about. Not creative, long form writing all about. I'm just trying to still record. Sorry. No, no. Yes, it's connecting now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, now I think it's still recording, right? Yeah, it's being recorded. Yeah, I think now there shouldn't be any problem because I've changed my place also. I'm sorry for that goof up. So we were talking about uh, uh, long form writing and um, one of the main uh, aspects of long form writing is, uh, as I told you, you have to be immaculate in your writing. You have to, um, you have to make sure that. Uh, okay, my internet connection is unstable. It's right now there. So even if it gets logged out, please don't bother. I'll still keep talking on the phone. Anyway, over the phone it will be there. So maybe the recording won't happen, but still I'll be talking over the phone. So anyway, let's not have any breaks anymore. So immaculate writing in the language has to be flawless, as I told you. Then you have to express your uh, views uh, on the topic frankly and unreservedly. That is, you have to be open. Open in the sense, see, depending upon the texture of the feature writing, you can express your opinions, but the opinions have to, suppose if it is an opinion that you are expressing, people think that, you know, if I'm writing an opinion piece in a newspaper, for example, the editorial column, opposite the editorial, editorial column in all newspapers, you have a news section called the op-ed page, that is op opposite edit ed editorial page, op-ed, opposite editorial page is always, res always reserved for opinions. So when people say it's, when I'm writing opinion pieces, People think, okay, you can write whatever hell you want. You know, whatever opinion you have, you want. No, opinion pieces are not written like that. opinion pieces. If you express an opinion, if you express your views, you have to make sure that you substantiate your opinion with a fact. For example, if you're saying, say, um, uh, um, um, Israel is being unfair when it is bombing uh, 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 the Gazans indiscriminately. 
that is your opinion how are you going to substantiate it you will substantiate it by giving facts there has been a report so and so they said that israel has been on the offensive for a long time there has been statistics available from so and so which says that so many people have died or there can be a, a counter argument saying no no somebody else has said that is all farce it's just build up stories something that way you have what what i'm trying to tell you is slowly and slowly the opinion pieces should substantiate itself with facts so that you are putting forward a proper solid argument in front of the uh, person the whomever you are speaking about that's why i said feature writing people will think it's all bombastic big big words no treat feature writing as a conversation that you are having with your friend that is a tip that i follow for example as i said, said um, my friend osvaldo he's coming to me and he's we are having a chat on uh, uh, we are having a chat on um, you know um, african politics when i speak to him i am trying to know what african politics is what i'm the, the, in the subcontinent or in the continent how things are will he be using big big words in front of me will he be using words bombastic words no he'll be speaking like he's speaking from his heart he's speaking his observation he's substantiating things he's giving me ideas he's giving me judgments he's giving me debates he's giving me valid facts that in simple language sometimes he'll use imagery sometimes he'll be creative sometimes he'll use fun sometimes he'll use a joke so it's a conversation and i'll be interested in the conversation we can speak for hours if the if the topic is good the same technique you have to follow when you write you have to have a conversation with your reader for that you have to be as open free and simple as you can rather than be bombastic you know you're not a researcher you're not presenting a research paper you're writing you're writing from your soul so follow that technique you know that is all that feature writing actually we need not go through the unit all that is exactly what feature writing is a conversation which you're having with your reader so that is second of second thing that you have to take care of the third thing is be personal that's what i told you all these things gist of it is you know try to try to treat the reader as your friend or an acquaintance or somebody who's interested in what you're doing you'll be as simple as possible you'll be as straight as possible you'll be as personal as possible you'll be as frank as possible try and be that then uh, you have to you know try and present it as a conversation a dialogue an interview see these are different ways in which the point that i'm trying to drive in the same things are being listed then then again as i said features are uh, i think christina joined right now right now um, features are longer than um, news stories when you say features are a, a lot longer than news stories so features are longer than news stories there is uh, a lot of uh, as i told you it's long form writing so you have to experiment there will be delayed leads leads will be delayed intros will be delayed you will be introducing the topic in a little you know delay as you converse you know conversation is not uh, you just finish off the conversation and run off no there are different kinds of conversation in in which you are just explaining to them the matter immediately giving them then the news and running off that is news stories the second is you sitting having a chat over a coffee or a tea talking and that is long form writing so just imagine the uh, just imagine the, um, the 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 conversation that you have with a friend in at one point you may talk immediately give the news hey look this is this is this particular thing is happening there uh, so you please don't take that road because it is clogged there is a lot of uh, uh, flooding there so take the other road that is news story on the other hand you are try, trying to tell your friend see don't take that road because there are there's a lot of flooding people are wading through the waters and there's a lot of undercurrent there and then if you take the side road then there would be little more you know uh, the, 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 the things would be a little better but the other side of the road you find lot of port you're delaying you're explaining you're going on and on and on that is long form right so that you can do provided you have enough time and that is what you are meant to do which is more interesting long form writing or news writing 
Christina, which is more interesting, long form writing or news writing? Yeah, hello. Which is more interesting? Yeah, for, for me, uh, it depends. It depends on the, the no, skill depends. of the writer. Very good answer. I thought you would say long form writing. It depends mm. what you want to know. Suppose if uh, Mr. Balika, who has a lot of time at hand, he comes to me for a chat. He wouldn't want to, you know, me to finish off everything in one sentence and run off. He would want to sit down and, you know, ease out, have a conversation. That is long form writing. So if he has time at hand, then he would probably want to sit and talk. If he doesn't have time at hand, then probably he would want to... Uh, is it getting recorded? Yeah. If he, if, if he has time at hand, then he would probably sit and talk. Otherwise, he would just finish it off and he would want me to just quickly say, look, uh, Aparna, I'm getting late for office. Just say whatever you want in two words and let me go. Immediately tell me what is the matter. That is news, right? So it depends on how much time you have and what kind of uh, thing you're looking for in the article. So that is long form writing. Then long form writing also can be substantiated with a lot of pictures and visuals you know, explanations through visual aspects. That also helps in long-form writing. Then finally, it also is, you know, uh, what do you say? Uh, it, it, it can leave room for further articles. For example, you're like writing something, maybe some aspect can give from it can give rise to another article. So that is essentially the basis of sequels. You might be having after this, first series of uh, this particular series would be continued. This particular feature story would be continued. So next next edition of the paper, you would have the second part of it. So long form writing can extend, whereas news stories mostly one particular aspect and there are follow-ups to it, but they are individual stories. So um, and now, uh, uh, again, when you write features, there are some things that you have to uh, look for. Uh, and, and I'm giving you those do's and don'ts. First is be choose the precise word. Be correct about your words. Be sim simple and concise. Con again, concise, when you write feature writing long or long form writing, people think you can go on and on and on. No, essentially still it is you're writing for a print media or you're still writing for them. Even there, there is a word limit. Just that the word limit is more than the news writing for for example if a news story should only be 300 to 350 words long form writing can be 800 words or 1000 words but still it is 1000 words you cannot write 10000 and 50000 words that is a thesis that's totally different so still be concise still be proper still be concise still be simple and don't be convoluted in your ideas or even if you have to present convoluted ideas present it simply prefer familiar words to unfamiliar words. that's what i said be simple for example last it's a time itself i'll give, I'll give you an example don't say i am in locomotion say you're traveling by a train simple familiar words think that you know you are writing for the reader who might be not who might not be so good in his language so be simple Use concrete rather than the abstract. Use concrete words. Use material word, nouns more than the abstract nouns. Avoid cliches. Be positive and honest. And try to write as you speak. As I told you, write in a way that you're speaking to a person whom you know. And vary your pace and rhythm. Now, as I said, build up the drama. Like, for example, some places you will have to explain more. Some places you will have to explain that less. So always think about this. In underlying aspect, you have to always think that you are speaking to uh, your friend or your acquaintance. If you have that mentality, you can do it well. Then what is the difference between news writing and feature writing? I think we already discussed. As I said, news writing is usually done in the pyramid style. That is inverted pyramid style. Last time we told, I, I told you what inverted pyramid is. 5W is and one H and you build it up in such a way that the least important things come in the bottom. Now, news items are written in an impersonalized manner. It's not personal. Often the reporter's view has no place in the story. Codes have to be ascribed to sources. Crucial people uh, should be uh, I mean, uh, mentioned. Then uh, uh, 
again it has to be you know if you are attributing somebody it has to be in quotes so all these stories are part of all these things are part of news stories feature article can be written in a comparatively as i said relaxed easy timeline there is plenty of scope for packing multiple viewpoints in a feature and uh, also the and those viewpoints can be feasible for uh, further news stories for as i told you series of news stories so news stories have to be short sharp to the point but um, features can offer more details be presented in a more refined prose and language can be decked with lot of you know blossoms and flowers as i tell you it can be lot more uh, ornamented lot more arranged so it has to be a little more arranged that is new stories have to be arranged whereas here you can be a little more delayed in your uh, um, your explanations so that is a basic difference between news stories and news features then feature writing and other journalistic writings when you see uh, for example uh, there's a vast difference between writing features for newspapers and magazines as i said newspapers newspaper features would be maximum 800 words 600 to 800 words whereas magazines will have a will have more space as you know you and magazines as you know it's for relaxed reading mm, i'm audible am i audible please keep saying in between that i'm audible you know because otherwise i wouldn't know when i go and communicate you are you are actually audible we can hear you yes please yeah, yeah yes. audible audible okay thank you okay yeah uh, uh, so um uh hope i'm not going as fast as i did last time okay so other for journalistic genres okay. of writing you know like uh, uh, um, uh, f- uh, as i told you news news writing writing features for newspaper as well as journalist uh, magazines is slightly different because of the the only difference is the word count because in news news mag- newspapers you will have only 600 to 800 words for a news feature or a feature uh, a soft feature whereas the same soft feature will give you around 2000 words to write in a newspaper a news magazine or an, uh, a normal general magazine so you can take more liberty with your explanations yet the structure has to be same so for example if you are opening with an idea you have to you can opening with a partic- you can open with a particular idea uh, in one sentence for a news newspaper the same sentence you can elaborate two three sentences more for a newspaper news magazine so that you know instead of 600 to 800 words probably you will be writing 1000 2200 or 2000 words other than that there is not much of a difference in structure as i told you uh, feature writing has to be simple precise happy it's more like a conversation it's more relaxed all these things have to be followed but just that newspaper it is little more shorter and news magazine it is a little more lengthier because there is more space available so uh uh there are no hard and fast rules or regulations for defining uh, or dividing more journalistic writings for example uh, everything is more or less the same when it comes to journalism genres uh, vary from newspaper to newspaper or uh, newspaper to news magazines a little bit that is all essentially it is all one and the same so in any case feature article is not hard news it is not a review it is not a column it's not an essay it's not an editorial it's not a filler it's not an advertorial feature writing as i told you it's more about a conversation that you're having with a reader about what about uh, uh, an interesting topic so even when you are writing features you can bring in your opinions for sure but the opinion has to be strongly substantiated with facts so that is uh, it's like you know you're going to uh, a war zone and explaining the war happening there it is your opinion basically what you see there there is lot of uh, angst there is lot of um, turmoil all these things are your understanding of the scene but you're telling it to the reader but you have to substantiate it with facts 
but essentially it is maybe the way you see it if i go to the same place i might see a different picture but still when the feature writer writes he is explaining yeah i saw all these things and i am not lying see this people also said this this also said this so i am substantiating with with facts as well so uh, that is a uh, feature writing it's not an editorial editorial is exclusively the views of the paper it will not change mostly if the if the editor if the newspaper is right tinted it will be a right tinted editorial if it is left tinted it will be a left tinted editorial feature writing need not be that feature writing can be you know feature writing is essentially as i told you explaining things based on a lot of facts so that is feature writing expressed in a colorful language and there are a lot of commonalities but amongst newspaper editorial uh, contents all over the world there is a lot of commonalities in new uh, fe i mean uh, feature writing one is that you know uh, um, they follow the regular Uh, journalistic ethics they follow the reg regular journalistic construct which is why if you take a feature from say hindu newspaper or a week magazine in india and if you take a, a newspaper <coughs> a feature from guardian newspaper the construct would be the same the approach would be different you know the way the language would be used is different the language would be much more beautiful with a good writer but with with, a, uh, with not an experienced writer it will not be that touching you know it will be not so well constructed and to construct a feature or a news i think i'd be discussed it last time how to go about it how to write effectively i think we discussed that It's brainstorming ideas mind mapping all these things can work here also otherwise you know the other genres of writing most of them more or less the same like in the sense editorial opet pages uh, uh, news pages are designated as district local regional state national news uh, and foreign news and all these i think your newspapers in uh, in in africa also has all these segregations so sports you know uh, environment all these things would be covered everywhere editorial uh, co content pages would include different topics like business economy stock exchanges cinema book all these things are part of editorial editorial content like whatever is coming in the newspaper will have or editorial content doesn't mean editorial writing editorial writing is just one part of editorial content editorial content is all that comes in the newspaper is editorial con content but edit editorial is the middle page left hand side part that that is a view of the paper that is totally different please don't confuse those two things editorial content means whatever is coming in the newspaper um, you you know that the first page would be for the main news second page would be the regional news third page would be for the state news then uh, fourth page would be the oped page and the editorial page and then you will have sports page you will have an environment page you have a business page all these pages that is editorial content and within the editorial content you will have news stories as well as feature stories news stories would be hard hitting stories feature stories would be slightly less hard hitting but still something that is interesting those stories only the way they have to write we discussed earlier then there will be column stories what are column stories stories which are written by uh, experts for example i am an expert on automobile a new car has come i am writing about the new car my review about that car that is opinion uh, no sorry column writing i'm telling you these gadgets are there in that particular car and that car, the car is so high end it goes like this it is affordable the it is fuel consumption is less this that and all you know all these aspects it's my understanding of the car based on my expertise in understanding cars i have an expertise in understanding cars from that view point when i looked at look at it i find it in a particular manner so that i am writing for the paper is a column writing you know an experts who write on it that is totally different from feature writing because feature writing is essentially done by uh, basically journalist who go who investigates who finds out and who describes the scene in a more relaxed conversational manner based on facts what is news writing you go to a scene immediately what is happening you report that is spot writing so spot news writing so you do you understand the differences all of this i'm sure there are a lot of journalists out here i need not go into this detail but i'm 
going into this detail for those people who are new to the field i hope i'm 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 clear please feel free to uh, tell me if i am not please do respond friends am i clear yes please yeah okay yes you are so, you, you, you are clear and for me i would love if you go into detail because i'm new on this one yes yes what i would love if you go into details because i'm i'm new on this one ah uh, okay so you are okay with me going like this right the same way yeah yeah sure okay 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 so uh so that is how the uh, then uh, there are some uh, newspapers which have commissioned columns for example uh, if there is a now there is cricket match world cup going on here so there would be experts or uh, former cricketers who will give columns so write about you know how the sport is how it was different and how it was during their time and what is the state of cricket now world cricket or one particular cricketer who's up and coming and how it is or maybe one particular country which is coming up for example a new country which is coming up in the field of uh, cricket afghanistan and how is it performing it's, it's it, it did really well this time so how is it uh, doing and all these things can be part of commissioned you know columns which from um, people who are in the trade or experts um, all these genres of writing are not exclusively journalistic writing but they are part of editorial content what is journalistic writing is news writing feature writing news feature writing soft features writing all these things are exclusive journalistic content the others are opinion pieces so i hope you understand the difference so um, uh, of which feature writing there are i we discussed the basic of feature writing now there are different kind of features what are they one is news features as i told you news features are it is essentially news but you go into it and explain it like a feature for example a war zone war is actually happening it is news you go to uh, let me take israel i'm i'm taking israel hamas war because that is ongoing right now you go to israel what is happening that is news you go and israel bombed uh, this gaza hospital so many people died that is news hard news immediately it happens immediately it has to be reported but now i'm going it happened some days ago now i'm going back there and i'm looking at after the war after the bombing how the place is coping up how the place is now how many people died what were the, the, the what was the way in which they they took the thing how how did they brave it and how many came for help who came to help them did the medicos come did the medicine sans frontiers come there did any you know voluntary organizations come to help them did egypt extend a hand finally or did egypt closed its borders to these people they went around saying that they were they are all with the gazans and uh, you know against israel but when it came to the real essence of helping they closed their borders so did they you know how did the people take that did they understand i mean what what way is it that people took israel uh, egypt's uh, actions how how did they respond to so many other things that is going on in the media about you know hamas doing this that all these things can be news features so you are actually something is happening but a detailed in depth analysis or in depth explanation in depth finding of that particular topic can be a good news feature so news features originate from important news happenings and they then go on explaining that there are there can be any news happening so i'm not particularly mentioning one any this is just war otherwise it can be something else so important a business activity that is happening for example uh, world economic forum is happening you are reporting going and reporting something very vigorously this thing happened these policies were taken this decisions were taken that is hard news but behind the scene why was this decision taken what is the reason because because of this you are explaining one policy what is the need for such a decision to be taken that becomes a news feature so special event features again as i told you uh, world economic forum you are going and you are explaining or chogam you are going and explaining such particular thing is happening there and then uh, exclusively you you write about that 
you, you there can be news coming from there and news features one news feature i just told you that is you know a particular policy that was taken up what was the need for that policy to be taken up? why did the forum even discuss about it so that can be a special event features or a, that comes that can come under the category of special news features so personality feature as i told you um, right now the world cup is going on one particular uh, cricketer doing exceptionally well you know he's young and he's doing he's only 15 16 in the 16 17 or 18 and he's um, he's going on hitting centuries he's doing this he's a prodigy you write about it like for example that guy from india who went uh, and made mark in the chess field this praknananda everybody was writing about him his mother his mother is sitting and looking at him his mother is cooking sambar for him his mother is looking this his mother is doing that it became such a news in, in india everybody was writing about him people were going and interviewing him so that is a personality feature so based on this particular person some feat some achievement you are explaining you are uh, trying to find out more about that person that's a personality feature Uh, um, an interview feature. Again, uh, what is an interview feature? You go and speak to an, a person who's uh, inter who's being interviewed. Like for example, that person again might have done something big, or he might be an important person. For example, UN Secretary General coming to Africa. You would want to interview that person and ask, "What are your plans for Africa? How do you plan to ta tackle so many things that's happening here? How do you plan to do this? Do that?" all these things can be part of interview feature then how to features as you know you know uh, how to features is basically uh, for guiding users to handle sensitive costly equipment that is diy you find a lot of youtube videos on that how to do this how to do that you know how to uh, you know uh, what do you say how to um, prepare something for your uh, deepavali festival or things like that that is how to features then you have background features for example suppose some event happened or it can also be called explainers as they call you know for example um, um uh, say um, again let me come to israel hamas for there were explain explainers going around a uh, youtube videos or you know other videos even write ups on what exactly is israel hamas issue how what was the origin of it what is the origin of israel what is the origin of hamas what is the origin of uh, jews how did jews originate what is the issue all about how did uh, why did, why is there this clash between israel and uh, you know the palestinians what is the background information about it that those things come under background features that it, it can be connected to an old historical event or you know something related to that which happened in the past that can be background features then investigative features investigative features as you know it is basically based on investigative reporting that is investigating the criminal career of uh, uh, say a particular group of people you know for example somebody say boko haram i'm saying that because that is they were a group that is uh, uh, from africa so i'm just telling you that the boko haram group you you you're explaining about them you're investigating about their whereabouts and how their networking is you're bringing out that or you're investigating a scam that happened for example a scam that is uh, the the white house uh, watergate incident that happened which is a very famous scam all these things are investigated you're writing not news you're writing a feature story based on that news has already come but you're delving further into it and you're bringing out something that is investigative feature then color features are written, these are usually written on subjects uh, of which the authors have deep knowledge and understanding besides adequate command of knowledge for example you know special occasion like uh, holiday season um, you have uh, uh, with uh, you know uh, uh, you you're capturing a mood of something which is happy gay a music festival thing all these things are color features you're essentially reporting this all this is also more about even reporting as i said you know initially it is it is basically special events features it kind of coincides with that then you have adventure features you go some you know what adventure features are 
hiking, you go on to Mount Everest, you write about those sort of adventure features. Opinion features are basically based on, you know, as I told you, um, the newspaper will have an editorial page just opposite to that is that open page where you have opinion articles from experts. They'll write on, say, uh, this particular issue that's happening in the Middle East, an expert on the uh, Middle East crisis. For long, he would be studying it. Someone uh, who's maybe working in uh, uh, Tel Aviv University, he would write about it and we would carry it. That will become an opinion feature. It's basically his understanding of the problem, but he has to substantiate it with his study or different studies. Because he's an expert, he will be able to say why he's saying so. It's an in-depth feature. It's more academic. Uh, it's more academic. It's more, you know, it's like academic speaking about it. Then, uh, then the next is, sorry. Hmm, then the next is, next is uh, uh, opinion features. Then what else? It was? Yeah, human interest features. Something interesting. Like, for example, uh, um, um, uh, a handicapped person who scaled the Mount Everest or um, 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 a handicapped person who crossed the English Channel. These are in interesting things. You sit up and ask, oh, really? How come that person did it? I have two legs and two hands. I'm not able to walk a mile, but he's climbing an Everest. So that is interesting. So some human interest features also can be. Somebody is winning a five crore in a lottery. <laughs> I've been collecting lottery tickets for years, and then I don't have not even got one rupee. But here you're getting five crores. How? So these things are human interest stories. As I say, dog bites a man. It's not news. Ma man bites a dog. It is news. But why did man bite a dog? What is the reason? That becomes a news feature or a human interest feature. Then development features. Development features is, uh, as you know, development communication is becoming an integral part of modern media research and education. So development stories from uh, remote areas could present, um, what do you say, um, fascinating account. And it can be an interesting feature that reflects the uh, progress ordinary people have made. So simple people, for example, uh, um, maybe um, when electricity is becoming a remote village where you don't have electricity. But those people who are in that remote village have found their own way of, you know, generating electricity by using uh, solar panels or solar energy. That becomes a development feature because they're doing something to develop their life. And it is something that shows the resilience or the development aptitude of a community or a field. that becomes development features or education features. All these things are development oriented, health, education. Anything that is developing human life or related to developing human life is development features. Not just human life, general life in general, that is development features. Now, as we discussed how to write uh, feature articles, it would be, as I said, as before, it would have a lead and that lead can be delayed or lead can be more dramatic, more creative. And then second stage, but only thing you have to see is that as you jump from one paragraph to another, it's like a flow, you know. You have to always think of a stream. A stream flows. So similar way, a story also should flow, especially a, a feature story should flow like a, a stream, a mountain stream. When it is flowing as beautifully, softly, it has to it has to. Uh, flow even if it is encounter if it if it encounters a rock it has to find its way around the rock and still flow similarly when you have to uh, jump from one paragraph to another you have to see to it that the first paragraph and the second paragraph the transition is smooth there is a smooth linkage so the flow has to be seen then uh, the third stage of the feature is development in this section the uh, issue or feature should be developed further. As you move, the lead is there, then you move around into the transition into the, ne the, the next paragraphs. And as you go into the next paragraph, the first whatever lead you are trying to say, that is a news, which is said in a delayed manner, you have to explain it further, substantiate with facts or explain it with views, give quotes, but everything in a very 
conversational manner happy manner relaxed manner so it should be elaborated logically chronologically systematically carefully keeping in mind that the reader has been fully engaged and that this interest in the piece is not wearing wearing him out that is in the initial lead you have to create a scene of interest slowly take the reader to the second paragraph and then slowly build up the story in such a way that the interest of the person is not lost so it's like you are in control as i told you the conversation just as a conversation you are in control so you have to be in control of the writing also the para should be interconnected step by step movement point by poem point, point you have to dole out information one after another in a more happy manner in a very relaxed manner and uh, finally the features should end in a manner that the reader is amply satisfied you have to slowly go and finally take the uh, ending into a logical happy and clean conclusion such that if you are the reader you will not feel that you will feel totally satisfied reading so keep that conversation attitude in your mind when you are writing features uh oh god <laughs> i'm sorry so um so give that uh, that uh, so uh, you can use different ways of ending as you use in opening you can use uh, you know um, pun you can use you can use uh, questions you can use jokes you can use you know quotes in a very very creative and matter of fact manner similarly while ending also you can use all these methods in such a way that finally when your reader finishes reading he should feel completely aware of what you're talking and finally he should say okay i understood everything this is a good article or well done this attitude should be there in the reader keep that in mind when you write while these points are not these are not rigid formulas i tell you there is no hard and fast way in which you can write a news feature like you there is in news feature in news news writing in news writing you have to be matter of fact 5 w's 1 h inverted pyramid every all information has to be there there is no hard and fast rule in features because it's essentially the skill of the writer only if you keep writing more and if you keep reading more will you understand please read good uh, features go to guardian go to reuters go to ap fp go to new yorker especially and read good features so that you understand how feature only by reading more will you i can only give you an outline only if you read more and more will you be able to know how to actually go about it the more you read and the more you write the better you will be so make sure you at least read you read one article every day and write at least 100 words you can be a good feature writer so uh, that is in short you know finally the reader should go with a feeling that it was a good article it was a treat so that is one thing so you have to choose a topic when you are choosing the topic as i told you usually you don't have the luxury of choosing a topic in a newspaper they just hand it out to you they say hey, this is you write a news news feature for this week that is what they would say but if you are writing for a news magazine sometimes you can suggest and so you choose something which you feel is important has to be uh, explored then you prepare for it preparation i think we have discussed last time um, how to prepare collecting news researching you know you can um, uh, meanwhile you know you can make a mind map uh, then uh, you uh, you have to also um, uh, uh, make sure that you have a good uh, Uh, set of uh, writing tools like dictionary and all that nowadays dictionary is not everything is available online but still you can you know keep track of if you sub mainly because when you indulge in creative writing there might be words you will come across uh, which will come into your mind the exact word won't be in your mind but the idea would be so that if you check the thesaurus maybe you will get the idea you will get the exact word or you'll get a list of words from which you can select so you have to have these resources in hand you know it's not that you don't know the word sometimes we feel okay that word is somewhere lingering in the back of my mind i'm not able to get it in such cases thesaurus can come but you have to be aware of all these things and that can come only by reading and writing and getting involved in the process so um, that is uh, prepare preparing for it uh, uh, 
then you also have to be sometimes aware of the editorial policy of the newspaper because suppose if you are getting into say guardian and you want to write far right news features they will not tell far right news features means there is nothing called far right news features news features are always factual but suppose you know uh, people pick and choose nowadays chinese issue china versus tibet they will write the news feature in such a way that it it it, it backs up or it supports china so that is still news still fact but it is in a way supporting china for example um isaac and uh, balika who mr balika were fighting and i am going to write about uh, i am a journalist reporting on this fight i can slowly twist my writing in say, such a way that i support maybe either by mr balika or mr isaac it depends on the editorial policy of my paper okay so ideally that is not journalism but that is practically that is what is happening so you have to understand the editorial policy of your newspaper also ideally i personally feel your journalists journalists are shouldn't and are not supposed to have any view of their own neither newspaper should have a view of their own you know they shouldn't have a bias but unfortunately that is not the case in practical journalism so any doubt so far feel free to tell me i'm going facts i'm going very fast Sorry, I'm going facts. I said that is because somebody wrote. No, madam, it's okay. I'm going actually fast. So you need to tell me if. Uh, uh, okay, fine. Okay, okay. Yeah, I heard as Christina. I heard. So um, yeah. So I'm continuing. So we discussed till uh, you know how to. right then tapping sources for material uh, how would you tap sources for material the uh, to do full justice to the theme of a feature article he has to go writer has to go around collecting matter from several sources that is you shouldn't be just one sided suppose uh, say one thing i encountered was when during my reporting time i found uh, uh, there was a i was working for the newspaper called news uh, the, the new indian express uh, in the initial part of my career so my boss said you know uh, go to this particular uh, i was in a place called coimbatore in uh, in south india uh, it it was a satellite bureau so it was bordering a forest so there are a lot of tribes there so one of my my bosses said please go to that forest and it seems yesterday some news came from there that a uh, uh, tribal woman was molested by uh, a forest ranger please go and inquire about it i said fine so i went there and i found that uh, uh, the um, the place was full of politic political people parties cpim was there that is communist party was there then the right wingers were there then there was dalit wingers that is uh, schedule scst that is tribal uh, population was there the political the political leaders among them from there it was a political scene actually backing up this girl uh, and against the forest ranger so i spoke to the girl it was a sad scene i spoke to the girl i wrote about the girl and then i felt if i write just about the girl which is very important because you are giving voice to the downtrodden underprivileged people which is which is what a journalist is supposed to do i did that but i also felt so many political people are backing so what if there is a controversy in it let me also take the opinion of the forest ranger usually what is done is people if they want to just write one sided piece they will not take the opinion of the other person so i went to the other person also and i said sir there is an allegation against you like this what is your comment on it there is one lady who is saying that she has been molested by you what is your comment on it she is from this particular community and she is a deprived person so ideally you shouldn't be doing such things why what is your comment on it then he said no 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 i didn't do this um he was in denial i wrote that also the forest ranger was in denial of the accusations then the story then i wrote that the case has been recorded in the police and the police is investigating the case so there has been a balance which went to the uh, uh, the accused also and i went to the victim also and finally to the police so this is actually balancing the report 
but sometimes people don't do that but ideally a, a, a journalist will have to seek different sources to balance their report any feature if the feature article has to be on you know, delinquent children or children addicted to drugs the best source would be the government department welfare for office office of drug controller police department uh, you know uh, uh, and also non governmental bodies but the best source would be speaking to the children themselves speak to the children also find out sometimes they will be in denial sometimes they won't speak to you but maybe if you pursue somewhere you'll get something to speak to them or even if they are not saying anything that also can be written the children were in utter denial of whatever was voiced on the allegations voiced on them you can write that or they were totally oblivious to the fact that they are under some uh, under the grip of some drug and that is not doing them any good this observation also you can as a news feature person you can write that you are as i told you your observation also you can write provided you explain the situation you explain the narrative you see what you wrote and you back it up with what you saw what you found claims as well as facts if you do that you can say that similarly there are many local state regional national international organizations that provide key information and useful data all these sources you have to tap depending on the topic that you are writing so um, the, all these aspects have you know uh, studies views to uh, researches all these can actually add authenticity to your features for example if i am writing something about child labor and if i write about a report that has been published by international labor resource organization on child labor it can actually substantiate my uh, report so you have to look for these sources you have to research a news feature person is not exactly like a news person who only reports hard news you need to go there report what is happening take few quotes from the relevant authorities news feed news story is done but news feature is you have to work your mind think about it look for sources collate everything together look at your own observation write your observation substantiate your observation this facts it's like you know you're cooking a dish so that dish has to be well prepared by exploring different ways the other is like you are serving a dish news report news report so uh, researching sorry researching then for that as i said you have to research on the topics also then as part of the research you have to tap the sources so um it is uh, um, uh, the research of the sources uh usually uh, as i said it has whatever i said so far you can uh, include all that plus there there are lot of websites right now you have to go into the websites of the relevant topic that you are uh, researching and you have to look for the websites portals blogs news groups facebook can be instagram can be twitter can be these are all social media that is also one aspect where you can do other other than that if you are deeply probing into a topic you can go into you know research uh, top research papers which you can find in places like google scholar then social media discussions you can quote university and public libraries earlier part you never had social media or net internet you you had to research to you had to approach the public libraries for uh, papers for res resource material all these things can be research places where you can go in addition you have places like ngos government bodies consumer special groups independent experts all these also and finally government also you can seek information in india we have something called the rti so rti is you write an application and saying that i want the data of this particular matter from this place this time to this time kindly give me the statistics you put a, a particular petition to the government and they will give you the data by post that is called rti so there are a lot of rti activists also internal information you can get which otherwise is not there in public domain all these aspects also you can get these are the different ways in which you can resource so research how it is done research
Hello. 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 I went in. Hello, welcome back, madam. Yes. Hello. My voice voice had gone. The the audio had yes, gone. Yes, but you are. Yes, but you are back now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh. One minute. Okay. Okay. So we were speaking about researching. So these are the methods in which you can research. You can go to uh, uh, the. Uh, you can seek uh, research matter. You can uh, research the topic with uh, the government. You can uh, con then one one big. Uh, if at all you are in doubt, you can ask your seniors. That is a big big thing. Don't underestimate your editor. Don't underestimate your 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 seniors. The journalists who are there before you, you please seek their help, sir. I I need to research on this. Could you give me leads on this? They are well experienced. They are in the profession. They'll be able to help you, much like any expert can help you. I always go to expert, saying that, sir, I'm doing an article on this. Can you tell me whom exactly I should speak to, or where I should, you know, seek information from? They will direct you. You know, it's like you know, you get lost in a, or you want to explore. You, I'm coming to Africa. I don't know. I have never visited that place. so i can i can research a lot of it i can go into the you know i can uh, look up the internet i can read books on africa everything i can do but that thing like calling up isaac or uh, uh, oswaldo or cristiana or uh, wasauka and asking them you belong to that place could you guide me through the different countries beautiful countries that you were placed in in africa i want to visit those places could you could you help me tell me what what is it that i should go and look out for then you would tell me oh come here you do that just like i would do when you come to india when you come to my place i'll say no no go here there is lots to be seen or oh, go there or oh, you get a good hotels uh, there safe and neat and nice hotels and the here you'll get good food all these things i can i can explain to you people when you come here and you people can explain it to me when i get there instead of referring books that is that is first hand solid research information so always ask ask experts people who are experienced people your seniors your editor go to them with your queries that is the first first and foremost uh, uh, research source and, and for your for your news news feature and that is the best one also in my opinion you know from then on you you carry on like for example from there you can pick it up then there will be uh, anything and everything is resource you can get a story from anything and everything it's like reading between lines even if you get a simple press release you can make a story you can get a story out of it you just need to know how to read into it a good journalist can get how you should know how to read into it a simple thing like uh, today an orphanage is being inaugurated in this particular place all of you are welcome to come and cover it simple press release an orphanage of Uh, uh students from uh, children from uh, bihar is being opened in in trivandrum okay fine i go there the minister is coming he's cutting the ribbon and all are clapping and um, eating samosa and going yeah simple beautiful event but if i'm a good journalist i'll ask myself this question why an orphanage for bihari students or children why in 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 this part of the, the country an orphanage for children from bihar are there many children coming here from bihar then a story can unfold there maybe you can find that there are many people who run away from bihar and get here why do they run away there can be a story behind it that can make a good feature that can give you a lead and you can explore and you can find out you can speak to people the railway people will help you and saying that you yeah, are from uh, the station i find so many children every day uh, then then somebody else police people will say yeah i spotted so many people you know uh, um, all these or or what you say the um, uh, uh, the jacketers go uh, the child labor the labor team will say no there are many child laborers coming from there you can actually bring forth a new new, new angle so anything and everything is a resource even a small newspaper in, in india if you go to a grocery shop sometimes they'll cover uh, Uh, whatever you want to buy in a old newspaper 
suppose if you open that you can find some write up in that from there you can get a story so it depends on where you actually look you know and how you look also matters so um so as i said um that also will be good resource materials so then you have freelance features or uh, freelancing for features that is in the sense um, sorry um you suppose you are not associated with any newspaper and you are a freelancer all these things whatever i said right now is for freelance people also as well as regular employees also but freelance features you have to always think about what i write will get published because there are normal employees also writing for the newspaper and i am also writing so what is it that may will make me different so that kind of understanding the market helps for freelance writers then you have to contact the correct editors also but freelance uh, requires a bit of more work so you have to understand the market and you have to know whom to actually uh, go to so a bit of understanding the industry you will have to do a little better for a person who's already a staffer there but your 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 freedom is a little less because the organization will tell you to do this and that and you have to always work within the constraints of the organization a freelance reporter a writer has a bit more freedom but he has to understand the market a bit more what will sell because ultimately you have to get published right only then will your article make will make sense all your work will make sense and you will get money also because we have to we have to earn our bread out so all these things is basically you know how well you understand the market that has to be with the freelance editors but they have more freedom so that is about you know news features that is feature writing the next is actually opinion writing opinion writing i think we covered opinion writing in this itself what is opinion writing you know difference between opinion writing and other forms of journalism i think we wrote editorial writing and opinion writing is there so what is editorial writing editorial writing is basically the edit uh, the, the the views of the newspaper opinion writing is the view of an expert or uh, somebody who is uh, an industry leader a view point of some person who who may not be connected with the newspaper that is opinion writing and editorial writing is always a person who is at the helm of affairs in the newspaper but edit, opinion writing need not be that opinion writing may be someone who is not even connected to the newspaper he can also write an opinion on a particular issue but he has to write it in you cannot uh, go and ask uh, uh, a person on the street to write about indo uh, that it is israel hamas war in a newspaper please uh, i i go to the uh, street of uh, of africa and i pick hold i uh, catch hold of a man there who is eating peanuts and say please write opinion piece for my paper i cannot do that he also might have an opinion but that is not opinion writing opinion writing is done but as i said done by a person who knows about the subject academically he has got experience with it that kind of person he has looked into it he has studied it he has researched it that kind of person will go into opinion writing then difference between feature writing and opinion writing also i told feature writing can be uh, uh, broadly divided as news features and non news features now feature writing also we discussed what it is but feature writing is for leisure reading relax, relax that also we said the relaxing mode you have to read it but opinion writing opinion writing feature writing and opinion writing one major difference is feature writing is news writing only it is news only only thing you deal with it in a more story like manner but opinion writing is the opinion of the person who is writing and with this writing what he is doing is he is trying to convert you the reader into his view he is trying to convince you of his view that is opinion writing a news feature or a feature writer will not convince you he will only present the fact in a very colorful and nice he will only present news in a very very nice and detailed manner that is feature writing but opinion writing is forceful and emphatic presentation of one's views in such a way that the reader either gets uh, convinced of your view or converts to your view that is opinion writing 
then special write ups and opinion writing you know what special articles are it is into understanding comp that is you know as i told you uh, understanding uh, or comprehending complex issues it's about uh, explainers backgrounders you know uh, all these things different kinds of new feature writing that comes comes at a special write ups or um, uh, um, uh, complex issues that is there in the public domain like you know defense science research health environment all these things that impact our life there might be people who come occasionally and write about it uh, it can be from within the paper or outside the paper but usually it is uh, uh uh specialists who write that that can be special write up for example people coming and writing during covid time what are the steps and precautions you should take to counter uh, covid how should you behave or why shouldn't you get panicked or what is covid all these things are special features what is opinion writing opinion writing is why should how did the um, um, that is um, uh, or i mean uh, what how did the world leaders or maybe pharmacy how the pharmaceutical industry is trying to take advantage of the covid situation somebody writing that is his or her personal opinion and that could be an expert writing uh, on uh, you know what do you say uh, uh, somebody who is opposed to pharmaceutical industries someone who is an activist uh, a, a naturopath Uh, and a person who's a naturalist or an or a person who stands for organic stuff he's writing about or she's writing or greta greta thunberg writing about uh, uh, you know why children should not take uh, school buses that ac uh, ac um, which are which have air conditioned school buses to school that is her opinion she might lay down facts for it she might vociferously fight for climate change that is her view okay and she'll give opinions about it that is opinion writing there it can be countered but when you write about special write ups for example uh, who chief scientist soumya swaminathan coming and writing about how uh, covid needs to be tackled can anyone go and oppose her totally we can but then there's no need to because she's stating the facts as a researched scientist but if she comes to a conclusion as a research scientist the pharmaceutical industries are taking advantage of it and this and that and she even if she gives views there can be somebody from the pharmaceutical industry can that that is her opinion so i suppose you understood the difference between opinion writing and Hello 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 can i am i audible Yes you are audible Yes you are Did i did i the, the audio go away even now Yes please Oh gosh I'm sorry there's something wrong with my system I'll correct it immediately Uh so It's okay 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 um, so so there are something called uh, middles also but that is a very redundant concept nowadays it's not there middles are small pieces meant for light reading containing humor and that is there in the uh, you know um, uh, editorial pages somewhere it can be a cartoon it can be you know something by specialist uh some snippets kind of some lighter stuff which is written but that is uh, increasingly getting less in newspapers right now so middles are that kind of stuff then uh, um that is also opinion but it is a lighter opinion it's like more caricaturish you have cartoons such kind of things opinion writing also can be is, is essentially very serious it's actually you just need to think about it opinion writing is essentially trying to convince the reader of your viewpoint and either convince the reader or convert the reader into what you are thinking that is opinion writing that is the way you can distinguish opinion writing from 
any other forms of writing you know because specialists also can write they are, they can also write explainers they can also write as i said special features special uh, write ups all these things are they are more factual opinion writing is essentially trying to drive your point of view that is opinion writing once you understand this things will become clear so uh, uh, the, the what is a framework in which opinion writing functions it is uh, politics and ideology social issues public policy then culture education these are the topics on which usually opinion writing exists then uh, timelines is like characteristics of opinion pieces is it, it spans a big timeline then subject knowledge and expertise the person who speaking should be should know what he is speaking that person is good for opinion writing then he has to have a clarity of or view point whatever he is trying to convince the reader he should be first clear of it then uh, the opinion has to be unique his own opinion or an uncommon opinion a different kind of opinion so that otherwise why should anybody read your view point so that he has to read and keep the audience so if you are writing an opinion piece you have to keep the audience in your mind that how well you will convince the person that is uh, the convince the person not to inform the person but to convert the person into your view point that should be the idea of an opinion writer uh, then uh, try and avoid conflicts in such a manner that you know in a straight forward manner you should put forward your uh, writing but uh, uh, clash with any uh, opposing that is opinion that is it should not clash with any other things are really not moving for something is wrong with my phone i suppose comes for 2 minutes and it goes away see this is actually very embarrassing also i'm actually taking a class this shouldn't be the case yeah. okay i'm just trying to hello Hello, hello, hello. 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 Yeah, madam. Hello. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, we can hear you, please. Oh, yes. I'm yes. really, really sorry for this. Seriously, there's something seriously wrong with my. Okay, so where did we reach uh, the opinion opinion part of it, right? We we can you tell me where I was? Dear friends, could you tell me where I was? hello can, can you tell me hello. where i was i'm not with you also i'm fasting and can you hear me hello can i can you hear hello. me yes. hello hello christine you are saying hello, something christine yeah okay okay anyway i'm hello. i'm just going to i'm i'm just going to take more see if you can 
forgot to return to my call. What was happening? Hello. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, hello, you are you are please. You can okay, go ahead. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. So finally, um, so uh, the universe of opinion can be, as I said, different culture, education, public policy, politics. It can uh, you have to be a subject expert in it. You have to be a clarity of you have, to have uh, your own your opinion has to be clear for yourself. You have to keep audience in your mind, and then uh, uh, you have to avoid conflicts in the sense. Uh, a sharp, aggressive, attacking posture uh, you shouldn't have. You should not be like, you should not be, uh, what you say, you should be aggressive, but you should not be demolishing or debilitating or sh you should not appear as if you are not open to debate. You know, even within, when you're putting forth your opinion, you putting forth your opinion, you have to put, put it forth in a very strong manner, but you should still make, make it clear, make it evident that you are open to debate. Otherwise, people will take you to be a sectarian or a fanatic and just shun you to the... So you should always appear to be a person who is, you know, who is speaking out of his own understanding and research. You have come to a conclusion like this because you, you know about your topic. So because I know about my topic, I can put forward this opinion and I'm open to debate. That kind of an attitude should come. So how to plan an opinion piece? You think of a topic, then you assess the ecosystem, how it is, then you collect the relevant material, then you draw an outline and you define parameters as to how you're going to go about it. Then you think of the market, as I said, because an opinion uh, writer will always be a freelance person. He will not be somebody who will be usually from the newspaper. So he has to think of the market. What, what if I write about will be accepted? So that also you have to write. How to write an opinion piece? As I said, generally the way you write usually only happens, news features, things. But a little more emphatic, you have to think from your perspective. The reader has to be convinced. That is the attitude you should have. Importance of intro should be there. You should have catchy headlines. Then the structure of the opinion piece should be more you know, forceful and should reflect you as a person. It should be properly arranged. Your, your ideas should be properly arranged in a very clearly logical manner. Because as I said, if you are not clear, the, the, the right reader will not be clear. Language and lifestyle should be simple, you know, uh, and emphatic. And then uh, 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 it should not be a burden on the reader's mind. It should be a user tone which is appropriate to your audience. Uh, uh, and understand that your readers have no time to waste. So you should write in such a way that each each point that you explore should give something to the reader to, to make him convince of your viewpoint. So choose an intelligent non-specialist person among your readers and think that you're writing to that person. So I, the, the quick way to understand opinion pieces, you, you, you choose an intelligent and intelligent person who's not well-versed in the topic that you're saying and you think about that you are trying to convince that person. That way you have to write. News feature you will write in a way you're trying to tell your friend or an acquaintance or a common reader about how the situation is. That is that way. This opinion piece is you're choosing an intelligent person who's interested in the topic that you're saying, but you'll be explaining him to him as though he doesn't know anything. And he doesn't actually, he doesn't know anything about it or he knows very little or he wants to know more about it. So you will be telling that person, an intelligent person, what it is the, with the idea of convincing that person of your uh, viewpoint. In news features, there is no nothing called convincing. You are just stating facts in a beautiful manner. So that is uh, 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 opinion writing, basically. So, and then choice of words, you have to choose, as I said, uh, familiar words, you should choose con the same thing as before. Writing and all structure is the same, only the attitude should vary. That in all these, structure is the same, but attitude should vary. Editing is you have to ask yourself. That is for something which is just within yourself. That is, have I been truthful to myself? Whatever, I, as I said, is it is it what I am clear of? Have I said what I needed to say? Is it diplomatic and fair? Have I hurt anybody's sentiments? Not sentiments. Have I said sensibilities when I said you can hurt? You can you can actually put your viewpoint 
it may not be accepted by many but you should be decent and dignified in you say when you say that do i have uh, you know you have a opening middle and closing do i have that you know have i made my points clearly and uh, specifically then uh, have i avoided a slow wind uh, approach that you know necessarily postpones the message have i built up too much drama or have i said things like as i said readers don't have much time to waste have i repeated unnecessarily you know could i save could i have saved some words is there a better way of phrasing the idea is my meaning unmistakable is the expression relaxed but refined does one sentence glide into the other or is it like you know is there flow of words all these questions you can ask yourself generally what a reader asks himself so i'll i'll explain this further as i sent you the audio files each of these points i'll specifically say like you know one is as a writer you have to explore one is as a reader you have to ask this as a writer you will have to ask questions like have i avoided a slow wind up have i provided the uh, things with specifics uh, is my closing proper have i been too repetitive as an editor you can ask can i could i have saved some words is my meaning clear is my ex expression okay is does my sentences glide into one another my paragraphs do they flow all these things you can write you can write in opinion piece these are the questions you should ask as a editor so this is basically opinion writing now the third part is editorial writing i think editorial writing also we have discussed as in when we discuss these two units we have discussed editorial writing also editorial writing is an integral part of the newspaper it is the voice of the newspaper and all the editorials uh, all the newspapers editorials what they have in common is it reflects the journal's policy it's a persuasive approach to attract like opinion is the opinion writer writing to convince the reader the same way the editorial is the newspaper trying to convince the reader of the newspaper's point of view so editorial is nothing but the opinion of the newspaper understand that is a basic difference not nothing else all that goes into the opinion writing should go here also but in in a little more precise manner because opinion writing you can take maybe 800 words to 1000 words but uh, editorial should be strictly within 300 to 400 words because it have it takes place every day and editorial is mainly mainly about what happens that particular day or during that particular season so you cannot write about something that is you know general topics cannot be need not be will not be written about usually relevant topics will be written about and what the newspaper thinks about it uh they, they don't uh, they are very decent actually they don't name call and all as as in a, a opinion piece also you maintain a basic decorum when you actually put forward your debate when you put forward your opinion that decorum is followed here also you are trying to convince the reader of course but in a dignified and decent manner so uh, editorials um, again the editorials are keeping in theme with the, uh, the 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 journal for example a news uh, journal will only write news based editorial a fashion journal will write a fashion based editorial so then the theme of the journal also matters then the language of the editorial as i said it is advocacy it's basically advocacy journalism that is you're trying to advocate your viewpoint it has to be persuasive but it has to be simple and decent it shouldn't be boisterous it should it be sober non aggressive language then the types of editorials are you have appreciative editorials critical editorials appreciative editorials for example yesterday one uh, cricketer as i said young cricketer he did very well tomorrow an editorial page can come on that because this is something that came you now the newspaper feels that uh, that that this particular person should be encouraged you can write an appreciative editorial now this is the new dawn for uh, india with this man coming till now in this the the, the 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 country was facing a lull and now you have a man coming and you know this is a new dawn some kind of observation like that's a view point of the newspaper based on a person's performance an appreciative editorial you have critical editorials you can criticize something like as i said israel hamas where you can criticize israel or you can criticize hamas depending upon what kind of attitude policy you have interpretative you can interpret you can interpret also what uh, based on uh, whatever is happening or facts or figures you can interpret 
that kind of editorial can be persuasive editorials you can actually encourage the readers to take a positive you know uh, specific view some negative things are happening especially during covid this thing is people are losing their morale editorial can be there to you know boost up their morale you shouldn't take you lose heart take uh, look at the different uh, approaches that the government or the vaccine uh, campaign is taking and take heart from it. that kind of persuasive reporting can also be there then campaign editorials campaign editorials okay. can be uh, like polio drive pulse polio drive vaccine drive uh, that that also comes under slightly persuasive uh, uh, editorials then um, as i said advocacy editorials can be you know that is usually in uh, publications of ngos and all where uh, you know it's like uh, they, they they seek support for certain kind of people like for example uh, um, uh, medicine sans frontiers they want to go uh, to israel and i mean gaza and work seeking help for them some kind of that is advocacy editorial then uh, you have satirical editorials which make fun in a slightly even there you have to have decorum you should not you can make fun but it should be for the issue and not for specifically the people academic and philosophic editorials can be there that's written by academic journals basically mm, by religious journals academic journals so all this so how would you prepare for writing an editorial you have to select a topic you have to firm up your approach you have to do basic work you have to keep the deadline in mind basic things about only the the, the writing only but you have to know what you are writing as i said you are writing an editorial and what is an editorial it is you know persuasive it is trying to put forward the viewpoint of the uh, uh, the newspaper or the publication these are the basic differences of writing otherwise writing structure is more or less the same some tweaking here and there the attitude is what matters not the construct that is essentially what i want to say that so and when you talk about different kinds of writing it is the attitude that has to ma- matter news writing news feature writing editorial writing opinion writing all these this is essentially the attitude that matters that that changes so so firm up your approach is what is the uh, important what is you have to what is your view and opinion on a public uh, matter the your view means the the publication's view that has to be firm you have to be firm you have to be clear on that and you have to put for, put forward that do basic work to substantiate that view point and uh write write in a very simple lucid writing is the same structure of writing is the same paragraph should run one into another and then it has to go flow smooth keep keep it simple keep it sweet keep it uh, decorous keep it firm. but you you have to be persuasive depending on whether you're writing an opinion piece if you have to be factual whether you're writing news or news features or if it is a soft feature you have to be you know as dram- as dramatic and as colorful and as creative as possible the tone and tenor and the attitude is what matters it depends it's it's basically about like a human being a human being can be happy humorous this and that but essentially every human has two hands two legs every same way writing is the same the difference is in the attitude the text every writing is the same more or less the same it has to be tweaked as per the requirement or the text what you have to do with it depends on that the construct has to be changed that comes with the attitude a little bit here and there it have to it has to change so as i said how to write the editorial you have to fix the theme you have to present it properly you have to have a proper approach that's the most important language the thrust has to be there wordage has to be restricted to 500 and style never use i in an editorial because you are not writing your journal is writing you cannot write i it is a journal that is writing so never use the first person that is the editorial policy then revision once you do you have to read again and then you have to ask yourself the following questions have i been truthful as i told you everything is the same writing is the same so the questions you ask as a writer and as an editor is the same what is the question as a writer have i been truthful have i said all that i needed to say have i been appropriately diplomatic and fair do i have opener middle and closing part in an essay um, then uh, have i unnecessarily postponed the message uh, you know have i proved points with specifics 
have i used informative headings is my um, have i been apparent to my reader uh, uh, then have i avoided unnecessary repetition these are the questions you will ask as a reader sorry writer and as an editor what will you ask can i save some words could i have saved some words is it a better way of phrasing the idea is my meaning proper and clear is my expression relaxed and refined that is am i decorous have i offended people with my writing and then have i you know does my sentence glide one into another or paragraph the the transition is it smooth from one idea to another so that there is continuation so conclusion in an editorial you have to sum up everything finally and you know uh, what you have written about the conclusion should create an impact in the minds of the readers and they should feel satisfied if not convinced so ideally your idea is to convince the reader but even if you can't convince but at least the, uh, the the reader should be satisfied that you have expressed your opinion clear at least that much then so that he will at least get the impetus to ponder over what you are saying he will at least get a direction to think about okay maybe he makes sense the editorial makes sense or the opinion makes sense let me think about it at least that attitude should be created by the editorial or the opinion reader so editorials in the changing media as new information technology has converted world into a global village so there is a lot of information so there is no particular need for editorial readers now to draw the attention of the audience to in information inputs that uh, that used to be the pri uh, privilege of the elite now you don't have to draw the attention of the readers because it is there everywhere you just log on to the net you can find lot of uh, uh, opinions so with so much of information uh, um, the readers are quite aware of what are the different kinds of perspectives so what you have to do now the editorials are no more on heavy on thought they don't have uh, they don't lack any theory uh, that is they, they are not very they shouldn't be very heavy on thought or you know they shouldn't have any you know theatrics or bag too much of that the reason is whatever the new editorials they try to say that reason the report, readers should be easy to grasp or understand they should always keep in mind that there's lot of ideas flowing around so your idea if it has to make an impact it is it should be easy to understand or you should put forward your original simple idea in the most forceful way uh, often editorials even in well reputed uh, journals betray the absence of any sense of history so you should the new writers also should know about how the history has evolved so a little more of reading and understanding of whatever has happened till now should go into before you write editorials because what you have to make a mark there's so many of things going around in that you have to make a mark so uh the wider knowledge that you have the better your editorial would be so the habit of reading you have to do so it is more imperative now that you have a wider knowledge so that you your editorial makes more sense not impact sense because impact we don't know it depends on the reader but it should make sense so that is an editorial writing basically then uh, as i said writing for magazine writing for magazine is uh, all these together again delayed you have to what is a magazine magazine in, is uh, basically a cluster of news features and what does magazine writing include magazine writing includes you know uh, ma uh, you will have features news essentially news features because magazine is comes in once in 15 days or a weekly it doesn't come every day so already the news would have been out in newspapers and now even websites so how does a magazine stay relevant you have to explore further and bring something new and interesting write news features based on the happenings give more info information unless and until you give more information nobody is going to come and read your article give more visuals explain it in a better manner write in a better manner Uh, include lot of topics like you know opinions um, and uh, view points researches all these things have to go so magazine writing style as i said it's traditionally it follows the pyramid style but it is news features basically news features 
so that is one aspect of magazine writing basically it is news features you know the reason why because news features new magazines come once in a week or a fortnight so uh, uh, how to choose topics for magazine writing no there is a little decline in magazines right now because you know everybody wants to look for quick news but still there are a lot of good magazines that are still doing well like new yorker you see the magazines there articles there they are all so beautifully written they are all descriptive they give you a lot of information they it, it has a wide variety also comics strips cartoons book reviews film reviews lifestyle or news features something that you know which which totally people have not heard of so far they find that out even if even if they are reporting on israel hamas they'll find out something that it has never been covered or more in depth detail or maybe it has been covered in the news media but a reader wants to know more about it they will understand that attitude of the reader so think with the eye of the reader with the mind of the reader what is it even when you read newspapers you think about oh god will this this particular point interest the readers to know more about it that you catch and you can add it in your news magazine there will be people to read that so uh, sources for news magazines again as you say it is the same as uh, other organizations again your attitude or your probing has to be more books statistical dictionaries guide books rti that is government sources all these things form sources of news uh, editor uh, magazine writing and then uh, uh, then um, what do you say uh, if you are a freelancer you have to always ask which magazine will publish my writing you have to think in terms of the magazine understanding the market as i said so magazine writing is essentially whatever we have discussed so far only but magazine writing is more feature writing more entirely feature writing and you have to think from the viewpoint of the um, reader as to do i want the reader if you know suppose if you have uh, you you read about uh, the hamas attack i'm just saying that now or maybe the hamas attack on the music festival that is covered in the media general everyday news it is covered but suppose if i want to know what is this music festival how long do they have do they, is it an annual event and how many people were there what all was played out there and how was it like when the people came and you know they shot at these what happened exactly do i get footage of that do i get to know more about it if the reader wants to know more and if you as a journalist can understand that mind of the reader probably you will explore that topic you will go you will understand what the history of the music festival is you will go speak to the survivors and know where they came from and how they enjoyed for so many days and finally as those people came and shot at them how did they feel and where did they take them how it the entire thing happened and after that how it is all these things they will catch and they will write and they will make a beautiful feature so and then you will get visuals and there are so many people who shot on video or pictures of that particular scene you will include all that you will dish out all that and make a beautiful feature that can be a good magazine feature so think in terms of the reader that is one main aspect of magazines so i think with that you have finished this uh, right uh, unit called analytical writing a bit of uh, hiccups was there because of my audio but you are free you can you're uh, free to call me message me ask me any kind of doubts or any kind of you know problems that you face you can you can you can even come up and tell me ma'am i we didn't understand what you're saying maybe i'll send you audio not maybe i'll surely send you audio file separately after this week but meanwhile if you have any doubts you can surely ask me because there was slight amount of audio hiccup i will be only happy to explain whatever you want to know further even this whatever i said right now due to the audio hiccups if you missed anything or if you did not understand anything or even if you want to know more than what i said right now or something general also please feel free to approach on the uh, chat or outside Uh, if you want to mail me i can send you my mail id or any way or if you want to google meet separately over this we can meet after this week and you know as a doubt clearing session we can do 
meanwhile the two things that you should do to improve your reading and writing is one read at least one article every day of a good news magazine or a newspaper or a journal do write at least 100 words preferably new yorker please read that and write at least 100 words new yorker for magazines and uh, uh, reuters preferably reuters for news read it and write at least 100 words of what you see around in your own beautiful way you can even post it on the on the chat we can you know analyze it and see where we can improve ourselves how we can improve ourselves all of us can do it what say can we do that please respond can you can we do that isaac yeah hello yes madam can we do that yes yes we can okay good so i hope i was clear i hope uh, everything was okay can i can we yes, call it a day now can we call it a day yes madam yes please yes we meet tomorrow all right thank you okay, okay. bye yes. thank you bye. thank you for tolerating bye. all the hiccups and thank you for giving me a patient diary yeah, yeah you are welcome with the internet so <laughs> Thank you bye Thank you madam